Pep Pineapple a Pope. Pep Pineapple a Pope. Hi everyone, it's Rachel, and today I'll be showing you how you can create your very own apple pen and pineapple pen. So let's get started. For this tutorial you'll be needing some pens, I chose some regular black ones but you can use any colour you like. Also side note from future Rachel, I recommend not using these pens that have this type of clear plastic casing. They were the only ones I had so I thought I'd experiment and see what happens but they ended up shrinking in the oven like some plastics do with heat so you'll see that later on in the tutorial. I watched some other DIY pen videos and apparently these types work really well so yeah let's continue on. So firstly you'll want to remove the lids because we won't be needing them. Starting off with the apple pen, firstly remove the ink part by twisting the end and pulling it out and put this to the side so you're left with just the plastic case. The other thing you'll be needing for this tutorial is some polymer clay and I chose to mix a pastel green for the base colour. Take a roller and flatten the clay out. Now position your pen on the sheet of clay and trim off the rough edges. Now you can roll the clay around the pen and join the crease so it's all nice and smooth. So here's what mine currently looks like. I then mixed a darker shade of green to make the leaves. Roll some pieces into little balls and then shape them with your fingers. Add them to the base of the pen and then use a needle tool to create an indent down the middle. Now just repeat this with as few or as many leaves as you would like. For the actual apple, condition some red polymer clay and roll it into a ball. Pinch it into an apple shape so that the bottom is more narrow than the top. When you're happy with the shape, take a ball tool and make a hole in the top and then use your fingers to smooth it out. Now go ahead and create a hole in the bottom of the apple and this is where we'll be sliding it onto the pen. You may need to reshape your apple slightly if it goes a bit deformed in the process. I also ended up adding on some extra clay to the pen because I didn't go up high enough. I then took some liquid clay, this one's Bacon Bond, and I covered the top of the pen to help secure the apple. Now slide the apple onto the pen, and if you have any excess squeeze out like I did, you can just scrape it off. Now take a piece of brown clay and shape it for the stem. Cut off the pointy tip and then add it to the apple. Also make a leaf using some green clay and add it on. Now I'm going ahead and adding a face with black clay and light pink clay for the cheeks. This is completely optional so you don't have to add a face if you don't want. 
So once it's finished you can put it to the side while we make the pineapple pen or go ahead and bake it. So for the pineapple pen, again remove the ink but I recommend not using these pens. I mixed a shade of pastel yellow clay for the base and then rolled it out with my rolling pin. Now position your pen onto the clay and trim it down before rolling it around the pen. For the pattern of the pineapple, I used my needle tool to create spirals all the way along. I made two going in one direction and then two going in the other. Just for some extra detail, I also use my dotting tool to add an indent into each diamond section. For the leaves, I mix three different shades of green clay and shape them into different sizes using my fingers. Starting off with the lightest green, I bunched a few of the leaves together. Again, I added some liquid clay to the top of the pen to help keep the clay secure. Now attach the bunch of leaves and continue adding them until you reach the yellow clay. Now it's time to bake our pens, so place them onto your baking tray and then bake in the oven according to your clay's instructions. I also created a little holder out of baking paper for the pineapple pen to prevent the leaves from squishing. So this is the point where my pens all went wrong because the particular type of plastic of my pens shrunk slightly and caused the clay to crack. So I did a few quick repair jobs by adding in some clay and then some liquid clay and then put them back into the oven to continue baking. When they were finished baking, I then decided to paint on some acrylic paint to cover up some of the imperfections from my patch job. Of course, if you use the right pens in the first place, you can skip all of these steps completely, but I just thought I'd show you some ways that you can fix your creations if you ever muck them up. 
And then lastly, I added some polyurethane gloss glaze, mainly because I use paint and I had to seal it in somehow. But again, this is optional and you can leave yours as they are. So this is what mine ended up looking like. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!